In this video, I want to talk to you about paging. Now, everybody sets up their paging in very special ways, but what I'm going to cover are four main ways that a business might use paging. So what we're going to cover is the idea of overhead paging. If you've got external speakers, they can connect in with your short health system. You can use your phone to make a page that's heard throughout your building. You can also page to other locations, like say a warehouse or a, you know, a second retail store even, depending on you know, how you've got connectivity between locations set up. You can also use your phone to make phone-to-phone -phone paging, which Short Talk calls intercom. And then the last type of paging is really um, paging a group of phones. So you use your phone to then page a group of phones somewhere else in the building, perhaps, uh, you know, let's say to a customer service team, and that information is going to come out of their phone speakers with what you want to say. So, super easy. And most importantly, um, you can set this up, work with your system administrator, you can set this up so that you actually have um, toolbar buttons, as is mentioned right here, toolbar buttons, you can actually get your system administrator to create these, and I'll show you how you load those on. You've got this subtle little plus sign down here that goes along with the toolbar button. So when I click this, it opens up a new pane, and you can see that I've got great system administrators because they've made lots of different buttons for me. So um, the way you choose which ones you want to have configured is simply just to checkbox them. So as you can see, this one is the first one that I mentioned. This is just paging over external speakers within your location. And next I want to come to paging another location. So this would be paging the warehouse. And then this one is actually paging a group of phones. So those are the three buttons that I want to have. And you can see it's just as simple as just doing the check mark and then the buttons appear. If you realize that you have one check that you don't need, you uncheck it and you can see it disappears and comes back right away. When you're done with this little box, just X out. So now you can see we've got the paging button set up and if you mouse over it, it tells you exactly what you're doing. And you'll notice these numeric numbers that go along with, um, with these buttons, that is basically the extension that you're dialing um, to get a, you know, the tiniest bit technical about all of this stuff. And what that means, though, is that you could actually click this button to page the customer service group, or you could actually pick up your phone and you could dial 789 on your phone and you're going to do exactly the same thing. So it's nice to have more than one way to take care of this issue that you have of needing to communicate with a lot of people very quickly. So literally, you hit the page button, you pick up your handset, you're going to hear the little um, tone, and then you're going to start speaking. And when you're done, you just you know, hang up your handset to disengage that call. The same paging uh, the warehouse, you know, obviously this is a different location completely from where you are. So again, you hit the button, you pick up your handset, you make your page, and of course, all you know is that you're speaking and you have to um, trust that everything is set up correctly and that the warehouse is hearing what you are saying to them. And then again, once you're done with your message, all you do is just simply put the handset back in the cradle. Paging the customer service group. So this is you picking up your uh, handset to page another group of phones and your voice is going to come out of their phone speaker. But again, the same sort of scenario. You hit the button, you pick up your handset, say what you need to say, and then disengage when you're done, and that's all there is to it. So you could either pick up your handset and dial 789 and say the message that you want to broadcast out to the customer service group out of their phones, or you would just hit this little button and pick up your handset and do the same thing. So now on to intercom. There are a couple of different reasons why you might intercom someone else. So first, you might decide that you want to simply instead of you know, calling somebody for whatever reason you want to actually do an intercom and feel like you're using walkie-talkies, awesome. Or, of course, if you've got someone, uh, you, you've received a call and you actually don't know the answer to the question, but instead of transferring the call, you just want to get a quick 
yes or no, really, from somebody else. So there's a way to do that when you actually have a call, and there's a way to do it when you um, are just wanting to, to chat with someone else. So um, for uh, wanting to just chat with someone else, you know, really quickly, instead of actually picking up the phone to call them, uh, let's go ahead and say we're going to intercom Chrysia. So I pull up Chrysia's name. Something that I've shown you in other videos, but I want to make really clear here, the default on your Connect client is that this is what you see when you are um, uh, searching for someone's name and using essentially the people tab. So if you actually right click and show phone number, that shows you everything. And I am just horrible about knowing people's extensions. So I like to have this feature. It's super important to me. Depending on how you have um, your system set up, you're going to see their extension, their DID, mobile phone, fax, all of those things that you're going to see uh, you know, very quickly. You can also make someone a favorite if you'd like, just that simple. And that way they're going to show up um, you know, in special uh, ways within the directory if you, um, you know, have that keyed in. So in this case, though, I want a little more information about Chrysia. So if I click one more time, it's going to pull up you know, a picture of her and I get to decide what I want to do next. So this little drop down arrow right here beside the green phone icon is going to give me more options. So I can dial her extension, I can call her work, I can call her mobile, I could dial just right to her voicemail, I could send her a voicemail, and here it is, I can intercom her. Just that simple. I click intercom and we're going to get the tone and her phone's going to, going to blurp at her and she and I will then be um, intercomming back and forth. It's just that simple. So the other option is when you actually have a call that uh, is on your line and you want to intercom with a colleague to ask them a question. So let me show you what that's like. So I have a call coming in. And as with any call, obviously this is an internal one, you can answer it, you can send it to voicemail, or you can transfer it to someone else. In this case, of course, I'm going to answer it. So now I have this call. I've got my call control tile here that you guys know so well. And my little counter is counting up to tell me how long the, this call has been um, going. And then here are my various options. So I can uh, conference in someone. I can transfer this call. Uh, obviously, we don't have recording um, set up here. I can mute this call if I needed to. So when I hit the transfer button, you can see I suddenly have a lot more options of what I'm going to do with this person. So at this point, let's say that, you know, again, I'm going to pick on Chrysia. Let's say that Chrysia is the person to really give me the information that I need. Uh, and also, while we're here, you can see this green bar shows that she is available, um, as opposed to, say, uh, David Simpson, who's always so good about saying whether he's in or out of the office, David Simpson has a red bar which shows that he is not available. So, of course, I'm not going to try to call David because I know that he's not available. On the other hand, Chrysia is available. So when I click on her name, she shows up right here in this little bar, and now I have several options, including being able to intercom her. So when I click on intercom, it's going to put my caller on hold, and then I'm going to go ahead and have um, the ability to chat with Chrysia. And as I said, the scenario where I can imagine wanting to use intercom while you have a call on your line would be simply to get a quick answer, you know, yes or no, you know, a time perhaps, you know, can we have this meeting at 1030, yes or no. And then you're able to then, uh, your caller's on hold, you get the information you need from Chrysia, and then you're back to your call. It's you know super easy. And when you're ready to actually get back to your call, uh, all you can do is you can either X right here. Uh, you this person would actually be on hold because you'd actually be doing your um, conversation with Chrysia. And when you're done and you hang up off the intercom, it should pull them right back to you. And that's my phone telling me that this person has been on hold way too long. As you can see, because the on hold is counting up to show how long you've got this caller on hold. And no one likes to be on hold for very long. So at this point, 
you know, as always with the options, red means stop and green means go. So I can pick this person back up off hold, or I could go ahead and hang up on them, which would be incredibly rude. So of course I'm gonna pull them back off hold. We go back to our normal um, counter showing the call duration, as opposed to now they're no longer on um, hold with us. So those are the different ways in which you can interact with your colleagues through the phone system. So just to recap, um, and it's nice that everything is showing right here where I want it to be. So first, and, and again, you can have your system administrator uh, actually configure the buttons for you so that you have these different options and you can just make them toolbar buttons, which makes it nice and easy, instead of having a, a, a you know, post-it note list of all the different extensions that you need to dial, the, the paging codes, if you will, that you need to dial. So first, we can page overhead external speakers throughout our location in order to impart information, you know. So and so you've got a call holding on line one, that sort of thing. You can also page, you know, depending on the setup of your short tail system, I need to put that disclaimer in. You can also page to other locations. So the warehouse, a distinct building, you know, across the parking lot or across town. You know, it, it's it's completely conceivable that you could page, you know, a, a, a different location that's, you know, across the river. So, um, you can page another location, again, probably externally uh, with speakers, and your voice is going over their loud system. Um, loudspeaker system. So, and then last, um, for the paging buttons, we have paging a group of phones. So you click on the page customer service group, and what that's gonna do is actually bring your voice out of their phones, and they're gonna hear what they need to hear. You know, customer service group, you know, I've got a call holding on line three. She's got a question about her order. So those are the three uh, main ways that you're going to basically, you as an individual are gonna page a lot of people. And then the last option is intercom, which is really you as an individual using your phone speakers to then engage with another colleague, again, a single colleague, through their phone speakers. So those are the options and paging is very powerful. So hopefully you've got at least one or two of these options in your toolkit to help you communicate and get the business done that you need to get done. Thanks for watching.